Good afternoon, West Con. I am student meteorologist Zachary Duhame with a forecast update for this mid-November time frame. We have a blend of sun and clouds currently outside of the science building, and also you can see the trees are pretty much bare, and that's leading to a guy blowing the leaves around at West Con. They're taking care of the leaves here, and you should do the same back where you are at home. A great looking forecast for the next two or three days. We have a mild and sunny stretch right through Saturday. Also, light winds, which is perfect for a leaf removal. But the bad news is we have a colder and stormier pattern by Sunday, so get those leaves up by then. And the worst drought in 50 years, it happened currently at WestCon and then uh, across Western Connecticut as well with the updated drought forecast I'm gonna show you here in a minute. The current satellite, Locally, we have some clouds streaming down from the north as the storm system pulls away from yesterday. But overall, just filter sunshine expected today, again, with highs near 60 degrees. The national map, I'm going to spend a minute on this. The national satellite, we have a high pressure to the south. It's going to be moving north over the coming days. But to the west, we have actually a storm system bringing a blizzard to the Rockies. And this is going to be moving to the north eventually come later in the weekend. It impacts our forecast by Sunday morning. No blizzard here in Connecticut, but some flags could be flying. That's definitely a potential with a gusty west-northwest wind to 40 miles per hour at times on Sunday with a rain and snow shower also as this storm changes the entire pattern from more of a late uh, fall pattern into an early winter pattern with temperatures that are going to be stuck in the 40s, gusty winds, and maybe a chance for some snow here or there in the coming days in Connecticut. And I teased it earlier, the drought forecast has been updated to extreme drought conditions in western Connecticut. Dan Bray's right here. This is very bad news. For us, we need several inches of rain. We're not going to get it, it seems like, anytime soon. But there is a pattern change coming, and this could lead to some precipitation chances in the coming weeks. We have a, a very amplitude pattern with the jet stream diving way to the south. Cold and stormy, likely weather to impact the turkey week. Thanksgiving week is next week, and unfortunately, it's going to start off very cold and windy. The question is what happens around Thanksgiving. Some of the models bringing a storm right around Thanksgiving, likely a rainstorm. We're going to fine tune this forecast at WestCon next Monday and Tuesday before we head off to our Thanksgiving break. Tonight, it's a low around 34 degrees under mainly clear skies, which is pretty seasonable for this time of year with that sunset at 432, getting earlier and earlier as we head closer to that winter time frame. And that's Friday, 62, 62 degrees, sorry. Enjoy that day and mostly sunny. And that's warm for this time of year. It should be in the low 50s, even the upper 40s in spots. So enjoy that 62 degrees because in this five day, that's the only time you're going to see that 60, even anywhere near it. Saturday, not bad looking day, although some increasing clouds later on. Sunday, Yes, 45 degrees, windy, some rain and snow showers possible, maybe a coating likely to the north of the Danbury area, and then 40s for highs, around 40, I should say, Monday and Tuesday, breezy as well, lows in the low to mid-20s, so very cold pattern, and again, I teased it earlier, Wednesday, and especially Thursday, for your Thanksgiving, there's a storm system nearby, so we're going to update this forecast next week, Monday and Tuesday, with the student meteorologist here at WestCon, but for tonight's forecast update, look for Antonio Negron at 7.30 p.m., and for the WestCon weather team, I'm student meteorologist Zachary Duhame. Have a great rest of the afternoon.